Hi guys, I'm here with your Bible reading. We are finishing up Philippians today and then we'll be going on to Col Colossians. And a lot of you guys will probably recognize um, the verse in Philippians here, chapter 4, verse 13, that says... I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Our um, pastor, uh, um, told us when we got our Bibles that they gave us with our names on them, um, to mark the page there at that verse. I can do all things through. You know, Christ who gives me strength. So that's a good place to mark your Bible. You know, God's always with you and He'll keep you strong. You just gotta stay strong in your faith and He will be there for you. Alright, let's begin finishing up Philippians with chapter 4. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you who I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friends. I plead with Eudia, and I plead with Syntyche to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you, my true companion, help these women since they have contended at the side of the cause of the gospel along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent and praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippians know, in the early days of our acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out for Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving except you only. For even was when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Not that I desire your gifts. What I desire is that more to be credited to your account. I have received full payment and have more than enough. I am amply supplied now that I have received from Ephaterotus the gifts you sent. They are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. And the final greetings to end chapter 4 says, Greet all God's people in Christ Jesus. The brothers and sisters whom are with me send greetings. All God's people here send you greetings. 
especially those who belong to Caesar's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. And that's where we finished up Philippians. And tomorrow we'll start on Colossians. Oh, sorry, I was having that severe pain down in the bottom of my stomach, right side of my stomach. Been doing that for the last two days now again, off and on. It's not constant, it like comes and goes. So when it comes, it feels like somebody's jabbing a knife in you and twisting it. Nobody knows what's going on. All right. Our psalm for today is Psalm 75. For the director of music to the tone of Do Not Destroy, a psalm of Asaph, a song. We praise you, God. We praise you for your name is near. People tell of your wonderful deeds. You say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with iniquity. When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. To the arrogant, I say, boast no more. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horns. Do not lift up your horns against heaven. Do not speak so defiantly. No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves. It is God who judges. He brings one down, he exalts another. In the hand of the Lord is a cup full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours it out, and all the wicked of the earth drink it down to its very dregs. As for me, I will declare this forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob, who says, I will cut off the horns of the wicked, but the horns of the righteous will be lifted up. And that was Psalm 75. And lastly, for our Bible reading today, we got two sayings. We got it's Proverbs chapter 24, verses 17 through 20, and it'll be in sayings 28 and 29. Saying 28 says, "Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When they stumble, do not let your heart rejoice, or the Lord will send and disprove." and turn his wrath away from them. And saying 29 says, Do not fret because of evildoers, or be envious of the wicked, for the evildoer has no future hope, and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. So you see, all the bad people will get what they deserve, you know, and we'll get what we deserve. So you just want to stay faithful to God and be a good person and treat everybody like Jesus would treat them. A lot of people going out today. Uh, I'll let you guys go. Oh, I want to take some Tylenol or something for that pain down there. I've already got like five Salon Paul pain patches on it. It's not helping. Alright guys, that was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.